You know, Doc, week three was rough. They managed to do this challenge where we had to think of things to substitute in our lives in place of food that make us happy and content. And as easy as it sounds, it's not. Because it really made me think. And then, while watching other people's videos, I realized that some of them were really creative. And it made me really start to wonder, like... Maybe I should really evaluate mine. And see if I can come up with some good stuff. It wasn't easy. But then on top of that, we lost three more contestants through eliminations. And that's, that's never fun to do. I don't like doing that. But it has to be done. It just has to be because we have to move forward and we only have two weeks left. Don't reality shows usually have a twist by now? God, does that mean there's a twist coming? They definitely won't be expecting that. I wonder what it'll be. Hmm. Yeah, there's only two weeks left. It has to be coming. What do you think it'll be? Doc? Are you there? It's you. Hi, it's Terry Turbo. Did you see this coming? I didn't. But here I am as a guest judge on week four of the Survivor Fitness Challenge. didn't see this coming, Terry. Um, welcome to the Survivor Fitness Challenge Week 4. Um, yeah. So you're calling this week the Endurance Challenge. That sounds kind of hard. Can you tell us more about it? Now, before I begin with the rules of the challenge, I want to remind you that these challenges are subjective in nature. So, they can be completed in many different ways. It's up to you to decide how to deliver the information to us for judging. This week, we're going to apply all that you've learned over the past few weeks. So, think back to all of the food, body, and mind challenges and reflect. Your challenge this week consists of three parts. For part A, you're to choose one food option from any contestant, eliminated or not, and replicate them for us to see. So, for the food challenge, you'll be replicating the cooking portion of the challenge. For part B, from the body challenge, you'll be replicating one of the new exercises any contestant chose. All information for parts A and B will be listed in a chart at the bottom of www.tbossbone.com. For part C, Go to www.tbossbone.com and view the past contestants' choices for each challenge. There will be a chart at the bottom of the page. From here, it is time for you to reflect on the eliminated contestants and the inspirations derived from them. In other words, something you've taken away from watching their videos, not just their Survivor Challenge videos. This portion of the challenge will serve as your mind challenge since replicating those would not serve much purpose. As you start out on your challenge, I want you to remember this French proverb. What was hard to endure is sweet to recall. Wow. Three-part challenge. Well, a uh, few notes about this challenge. Um, again, week four. Uh, videos, again, are still due by midnight. Um, that's midnight 
going into Friday, 12 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, because this challenge is so involved, we're allowing you to have two 10-minute videos this week instead of just one. That way you have a lot more time to work with because this will be a very difficult challenge to do. Um, just a quick notes about all the parts. Parts A and B are... Um, you're allowed to use any contestant that has been in the challenge as long as they have not dropped out of the challenge. So for part A, you're going to replicate that contestant's cooking component of their challenge. For part B, you're going to replicate that a different, that same or that different contestant's um, new exercise they chose, so the first part of the exercise challenge. That'd be you trying something new that they tried. And for part C, you're only allowed to use contestants that have been eliminated. And this is a very subjective one where you're just going to not necessarily even look at all their survivor videos, but look at maybe even all their videos on YouTube and just really draw some type of motivation or inspiration from that person. Yeah. So, because this is so involved, and because we only have two weeks left, and because we have a fourth judge, this week, uh, there will be six people leaving the competition. I said six, yes. The reasoning behind that is we want to have a final four. And there can only be four in the last show. So you need to do your best this week. Pull out all the stops. Do not disappoint. They are going to judge this as hard as they possibly can. So good luck to all of you. I will see you all on Thursday. Bye. As a quick reminder to everybody, this is the final week to donate towards the winner because next week we're going to be announcing what the prize money is. So please, 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 if you haven't donated yet or if you want to donate again, please go to www.tbossbone.com, click the donate link, and please donate to the winner because, especially after this week, they deserve it. Thank you.